Hi there everyone, my name is Luke from LSW Audio. Thanks for tuning into the channel. We got something to show you on the channel. We have got the hybrid PC8OB battery powered column array. Now, let's explain a little bit about the subwoofer area. So, for those of you that don't know, this is a dedicated subwoofer. So he gives you a low end, All right? And then we have got the actual unit that gives you mid tops. It's followed by four 2.5 inch mid top. He gives you your top end, the sub gives you your low end. And let's explain a little bit about the subwoofer. Dual base bolts, an eight inch driver. He's got a 75 RMS amp with a 100 RMS woofer which is pretty potent personally i can get about eight to nine hours out of him the book says six hours but i get eight to nine hours and i don't hesitate to crank him up a little bit and get the volume going which is pretty cool it's perfect for here in south africa we battle a little bit with load shedding so sometimes i want to still keep the music going and i could put the column array on Blast of music with my phone, his Bluetooth, all of that. But let's go to the back of the speaker and let's have a look at all the features. I'll turn him around. Let's put him on the table. He is pretty heavy. So, you've got your MP3 player, you've got your SD card, you've got your true wireless button. We'll explain Nana what that does. You've got your USB. You got your mode button for your Bluetooth or your line input. You got pause and play. You got loop. You got skip on either side. All right. You've got your power indicator. You got your limit light. You've got your master volume. You got your sub volume. You got your Bluetooth gain control. You can switch it to be either for the line, the gain for the line input. Or the Bluetooth, you got two channels here, either for a mic, a guitar, any one of those. You can also switch it for microphone with these two buttons over here. You push them in, it's line, push them out, and you can plug in something else. Right, you got your line out in case you want to connect another unit to it. You got your line out. You got a line in as well. You got your battery indicators over here, your battery life, 100%, 75%, 50%, and 25%. This is your charge light over here. It's quite a solid unit. I'm very impressed with the price that you pay. It's not super cheap, but it's definitely not expensive. Plastic box, but very, very solid. Solid amp plate, many screws in the back to keep it nice and solid. He is 150 watt power consumption when you use him through the AC. But they do recommend don't use him through the AC, rather wait for him to charge up, then use him from his battery. Otherwise, off time, you're going to wear out his battery. So, charge time, I found I get, takes about three hours to charge, which is not too bad, and I get eight, nine hours out of him at around about 55% in the volume just before one o'clock on the volume. I keep it like that. You can drive him harder, but I prefer to keep him at that. So let's show you the units and let's put him together. So the unit is 18 kilos, all of them together. So it's pretty heavy. So first of all, we've got two extensions. You can see two extensions for different heights, for different applications, whether you've got a big audience and you want the sound to travel over the heads to the people in the back. If you're at home, you're laying on the couch or something, you don't have to put the extensions on. You can just use the actual unit itself, or you can just put one extension on if you're in a house environment, because otherwise, he's pretty tall, he might touch the ceiling with all of the units on. So let's quickly put them together and we can get a visual on how he looks.
He's not hard to put in, he just clips into place. You're welcome to do a quick walk around so you can just get a visual. So let's talk about sound quality. Right. The sound quality is absolutely amazing. It really is amazing. I am personally used to very big equipment, proper PA, with big sound, massive amps, big subwoofers. But for such a small unit, it is not an insult to listen to. It's not like you buy it, okay, you're expecting it to like play, nah, the bass is not there, the top is not there, nah, it's not loud enough. Absolutely perfect. On my dB meter, I can squeeze about 85 to 90 dB at one o'clock continuously, which is very loud for a battery powered unit. The clarity is there. It doesn't lack anything at all in the top end, in the frequency range. The subwoofer, eight noise driver, he does 45 hertz, which is very deep. He can actually rattle the window, which means He's got quite a bit of power on him. Like I said, the book says 75 RMS and 100 RMS woofers, which is pretty cool. He's got a very good hi-fi sound, very nice low end. He's pretty loud. But now, let's talk about the true wireless system. If you want to come over here, please, and zoom in a little bit closer to the back. Now, I said I was going to explain the true wireless system link so that means if you got a second unit and you want to connect them both and control them with your phone make sure that both of your units are on you click the button on both of them to get the Bluetooth out and then they link wirelessly and you can still link your phone to either one of the units and control them both which is pretty cool soon soon I'm going to get the second unit eventually and then we're going to try that out but in the meantime I've only got one and even listening to one you don't have to have two you'll think now you have to have two because one's going to it's going to lack a bit not at all I can't believe it for one unit he can fill the room he's very loud even outside in the garden he might face me but out there in the garden you can get him all the way there I'm sure I can even bug a few people with him it's just such an amazing, efficient unit. Soon soon, we will release another video.